Let's take a moment to rest here. Good idea. Come to think of it, I'm pretty hungry. Okay, I'll fix us some food. Perhaps I could help. I'll help too. Uh, maybe it'd be best if you two set this one out. People are going to eat this food after all. What did you say? Just what do you mean by that? I'd say it, but I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Hey, Emil, can you get some firewood? Sure. Emil. Richter. Behind you. You're too weak. Stay on your guard, you fool. It's coming. Until the end, you fool. Who are you calling a fool, you idiot? <laughs> Grow up. That was scary. So that's Ratatosk's power? Uh, yes. Looks like that last monster had a kid. Wait! What? It's not attacking us. What's the harm in letting it live? <sighs> Please! You're so naive. Richter, Ratatosk is in a demon lord. If you just listen to what Marta and Tenebrae have to say, you'd... Ratatosk is my enemy. Why? Uh, uh... <sighs> what is this? What is... Emil, what's wrong? I, I don't know. I've been having these strange visions, memories. Memories? Where you're trying to kill me. And, and... Easy, don't try to talk. It's going away. Hmm. You should hurry back to Marta and get some rest. I'll let the two of you go for today. Why are you being so nice to me? I don't recall being nice. Now get out of my sight before I change my mind. Okay. And don't worry about those visions. It was probably a dream. They say dreams where you die are good luck. Richter! Go already. Right. Took you long enough. Yeah, I got attacked by this monster. Oh, are you hurt? No, sorry if I made you worry. So, where's the firewood? Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, 
do you guys smell something? It smells sort of familiar. Like someone's cooking fish or something. Izul does have a booming fishing industry. It smells like it's burning. It smells more like someone's incinerating fish than cooking it. Ah, uh, I get it. It smells like Rain's cooking. What do you mean by that? I interpret it to mean you are a poor cook, Rain. How dare you? Forget about that. Let's go find the source of the smell. Perfect, but now that I know you can't cook, I somehow feel closer to you. I'm not really a bad cook. No, it's just that her curiosity gets the better of her. What do you mean? Like one time, she tried to develop spicy chocolate, and another time it was candied pickles. New discoveries are only made when we question conventional wisdom. Perhaps it would be wiser to first question your sense of taste. Hmm. Maybe tonight's main course should be slow-roasted centurion. Sis, come on, calm down. A new weapon. Well, there are so many different kinds. If I don't try them all, how will I know which one suits me best? I guess you've got a point. Is that how you pick your boyfriends, too? How can you say that? You're the only one for me. I've got no interest in other boys. So don't go losing interest in me either, okay? Look at that! What do you think happened? The smell is coming from that box. Excuse me, what happened here? There were seafood gels in there, but they all got burnt up. 
Ah, seafood gels. That explains the fishy smell. You say they got burnt. How? An arsonist. Some punk's been lighting up the town. We finally managed to catch him, though. Wait, if you caught him, wouldn't that mean there's someone else? That bastard must have broken out of jail. What makes you so sure it's the same person? Whenever he sets something on fire, this strange bright light always appears. Same thing happened when these seafood gels went up in flames. I told him that dinky prison would never hold a huge guy like that. That's horrible. We must put a stop to this arsonist before we leave. Well, we could, but I'm surprised to hear this coming from you. You're usually all, stay focused, we have to find the Centurion's cores and stuff. What's wrong with that? It's not as if we're in a hurry. But we have a job to do. I mean, maybe not you and I exactly, but Emil and Marta still have to locate the Centurion's cores before Lloyd gets to them. Shouldn't we at least head to the harbor and find out when the next ship is leaving? The harbor. Oh, that's right. You can't swim, so... Fine, we'll go to the harbor. Rain really can't swim? Yep. She sinks like a lump of lead. It doesn't matter if it's an ocean or a stream. She hates water. She kind of tries to hide it, though. Lead, you say? I certainly wouldn't expect that to float. Right. That's why we sometimes call people who can't swim leadheads. Well, that explains it, then. Who could hope to swim with a head that heavy? You think it's her head that causes her to sink? Doesn't it stand to reason? Plus, depending on where she would swim, the lead could contaminate the local supply of drinking water. Huh? I must admit my surprise. I would never have imagined rain to be made of metal. If that's the case, it might be possible to classify her as a new breed of monster. Well, she is like a monster when she's in ruin mode. Sorry, buddy. No ships are going to be leaving port anytime soon. Why not? Well, you must have heard about that last fire we had. That arsonist must be on the loose again. If we shipped out now, he might escape by pretending to be one of the passengers. What are we supposed to do if we're in a hurry? We just had another fire, and you're in a hurry to leave town? Seems a little fishy to me. What did you say? Why don't you try saying that to my face, smart guy? What? If you're saying you're not, then... Then what? I can't breathe. Emil, stop it! I... Right. I'm very sorry. Yeah, sure. So... Back to the arsonist. Let's find him. Once we do, we can leave on the ship. Yeah. Let's check out the jail first to see if we can find any clues. Yeah. What's wrong with me? Hey, Marta. Does Emil really go into Ratatosk mode this often? Hmm. I don't think it used to happen quite so much. I wonder if there's something keeping him on edge. Maybe having my sister and me around all the time is stressing him out. I don't think that's it, but I'll ask him. Okay, thanks. Hmm.
Excuse me. I was wondering if you could tell us anything about the escaped arsonist. Ridiculous. He's still... Uh, he is. What's going on here? If the arsonist is still here, then the latest fire must have been started by... Do you mind if we have a word with the criminal? Sure, but be careful. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, this is Regal Bryant. He was with us in the journey of world regeneration. He's also the president of the Lazareno Company. Lazareno? But they're huge! Why would their president be starting fires? So, Regal, tell us, what happened? To be honest, I don't really know myself. I was in town on business when I happened to meet a man named Berg, a gel maker who said he'd seen Lloyd. While we were speaking, I suddenly found myself engulfed by this strange light, and just like that, I blacked out. When I came to, the building was in flames and Berg was lying unconscious. I grabbed him and ran outside. Where you were arrested and blamed for all the fires. Exactly. But I had nothing to do with any of it. Of course, we would never think you would. So you wouldn't know anything about the most recent fire? What? 
There was another fire? We're looking for the person that started it. Arson is one of the most cowardly crimes. If I could leave this prison, I would gladly join you in your search. The man you met, Berg, he didn't vouch for you? Unfortunately, he's still out cold. He may have inhaled a lot of smoke during the fire. Hey, Marta, do you think you might be able to use healing arts to help Berg? Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. Then let's go. If we can get him to wake up, maybe we can clear Regal's name. Good idea. Let's do that. Okay. I heard Berg was taken to his house. Please, do anything you can. Could you tell me a little about Regal? Well, we got to know him when he traveled with us on the journey of world regeneration two years ago. He's the type of guy you can always depend on. And as president of the world-famous Lazareno Company, he's well-respected wherever he goes. But he was a prisoner the first time we met him, too. What? It almost seemed like he started to enjoy being locked up. I wish you were joking, but I think you might be onto something there. He's mentally exhausted. We have to do something, and quickly. What do you think? From the looks of it, he might have been poisoned by a light frog. A light frog? Ah, uh, yes, that's what you humans call it. What strange names you have for things. Yes, this man has been infected by the poison of the Nasdrovier, the monster your people call the light frog. Nasdrovier? Light frog? Nasdrovier is the proper term. Light frog is the term you humans call it. The Nasdrovier absorbs high amounts of energy and releases it in a burst of light and heat. It's enough to knock out any creature that touches it. Light and heat? Then that must be what's causing all the fires around here. Of course! It must be the Light Frog. It's called the Nasdrovier. If I remember correctly, the Light Frog is a rare species that only lives near Flanor. Nasdrovier! Azuld has a trade route with Flanor. 
the creatures could have arrived in cargo bound for here, then flourished due to the unusual weather conditions. So assuming this is the result of light frog poison, an antidote ought to cure him, right? Nasdrovie! Unfortunately, there's no antidote for the light frog's poison. It's more of a viral infection rather than a venom. I believe Rosemary is able to counter the light frog's poison. Tenebrae, you're giving in? Just leave me alone. But where do we find some rosemary? It used to grow wild in the Camberto Caves, but I heard it became extinct with the recent climate changes. Great. What do we do now? Well, we know what caused the fires. Let's explain the situation so we can leave by ship. But what about Berg? And we can't just leave Regal in jail like that. I don't like it either. But the most important thing right now is to find the Centurion's cores as soon as possible, correct? Rain, how could you say something like that? It's our only choice. We've done everything we can here. But... I can't just ignore someone who's suffering right in front of me. Then what do you propose we do? Keep in mind that Lloyd could be taking the Centurion's cores as we speak. And what if he plans to use the cores to hurt others? Rain! I can't believe you! Wasn't Lloyd your student? Your friend? I'm merely pointing out a possibility. Be a man. I say we find a cure. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Please, you don't even have the means. We just have to find it in those damn Camberto Caves. How can you be so sure that they're all gone? And what about the Centurion's cores? Shut up! We're the ones who need to find all the cores. What do you care? All right then, let's go to the Camberto Caves. Rain? I apologize. Please forget everything I said. Come on, let's go. What's up with Rain? I think she was trying to provoke a meal on purpose. Why would she do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>